What's going on, fellas? It's another C. Boogie. Y'all know the rest. Hey, I want to salute y'all for subscribing to my channel. And I also want to thank y'all for liking my videos. And shout out to the Dime Game Division. Let's rock and roll, man. We're going to talk about the classic man for a second, man. You know, the classic man is made up off of basic fundamental principles. You know, peep game. You know, the classic man is traditional, but he's not born. You know, the classic man is traditional, but he's not out of tune with the modern. You know, the classic man is responsible. He's accountable. You know, he's accountable for his own actions. The classic man has influence over himself and his immediate surroundings. You know, the classic man is spiritual. He's righteous. The classic man stands up for something that he believes in. You know, the classic man stands up for what is right. You dig? Even in the face of adversity, man. The classic man has integrity. He has values. You know, the classic man is very masculine. And he has a lot of pride in himself, man. And when I think about the classic man, dog, I go back to like the 60s, man. When a lot of black men, we had no choice but to stand up for something. You know, because the pressure of the world was coming down on us from every angle, dog. You know what I mean? You had to be involved in your community. You had to be involved with your family. You know what I'm saying? And I ask myself, will the classic man ever return to his prominence? And I can't really answer that question wholeheartedly, man, because I don't know. You know, somewhere along the line, we got a little lost in the shuffle, man. And then it became swag over substance. You know, a lot of niggas started to wanting to look good instead of being good. And all of that shit really derives from the constant chase of pussy. Truth be told. That's where a lot of that shit come from, man. And a lot of dudes have lost their principles. You know, truth be told, a lot of niggas want to do the same thing that the women are doing, man. You know, if you just want me to put it blunt. A lot of dudes are out here competing with women. You know, so if a lot of dudes think these women are dysfunctional, well, they chase and run right behind these women. You see what I'm saying? Trying to keep up with them. And that's the constant chase of pussy. You know, instead of just letting the pussy come to them, a lot of dudes are running around like a chicken with the head cut off, man. Trying to keep up with that shit. And they not really standing on anything, man. You dig? Last year was a crazy year in this country, you know. It seemed like every time we turned on the news, another black man was getting shot or killed by the police. You know, black women too, really. But now I'm talking about the men, you know. We had to deal with this corona shit. We had to deal with the presidency, you know, politics. It was crazy, man. Last year, man, had me on some real radical shit. Just internally, personally, man. And I had to look in the mirror and tell myself, like, yo, Boogie, you got to do more. You got to be more active. You got to be more involved politically. You know what I mean? You got to be more involved in your community. You know, giving back. You know, I got to stretch out, gain some resources, man, and double down on my influence and shit like that. You know, these was the kind of conversations I was having to myself, you know, straight up and down. Because at the end of the day, when a black man can have a knee on his neck for eight minutes for the world to see over and over and over again, well, when I see that, I realize that could be me. Or that could be a family member of mine, somebody that I know. You know, 
and there's no need to get upset about it. There's no need to get mad about it. But it's about getting out here in the world and getting your respect, but doing it the righteous way. You know what I mean? Walking into a room as a man and exiting that room as a man. Stuff like that, man. Last year, man, we did two self-improvement summits. You know, shout out to Rom, shout out to T-Talk. You dig? And as we was doing the self-improvement summits, you know, just in the community, in the streets with this shit, you know, I've watched black men come to these summits and get that breakthrough. And that lets me know that I'm on a real good trajectory, man. I'm in the right direction, you know, of walking in my purpose, man, and maximizing my influence for my people, you know, just as a man, dog. You know, and that really makes me feel good on the inside because I understand, you know, truthfully, man, a lot of black men have a lot of emotional issues, man. A lot of black men, you know, we keep a lot of things bottled up and we internalize a lot of pain. We don't have a lot of outlets to release that shit. This is why a lot of niggas be caught up in bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? Reckless sexual behavior. You know what I'm saying? Self-medicating. You know, destroying their bodies. A lot of niggas destroying their minds. Or some dudes just get scared all together and turn bitch. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas, they just want a safe place in the middle. But that's where the women and children belong, in the middle, man. The men, we guard the perimeter against the ops. At least it should be like that. But a lot of niggas, man, they, they, they scared to death and don't know what to do, man. And this is why a lot of dudes, they have so much smoke for women, but they ain't got no smoke against the ops. Meaning when a cop can have his boot or his knee rather on a black man's neck for eight minutes to the point where this dude is screaming and crying for his own mother, grown ass man. A lot of niggas can't do nothing but sit there and videotape it. Well, some niggas even criminalize that black man. You know, but that ain't nothing but a cheap way of trying to justify or rationalize the fact that a lot of niggas are powerless, man. But see, this is where the classic man comes into play. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, man, As a man, you got to look in the mirror and ask yourself, what would I die for? You know, besides money and pussy, really, like, what would I die for? And every man got to ask himself that question on his own. You know, I love to tell this little vignette about when I was in Iraq. And when I was in Iraq, the Iraqi people, the Iraqi men, the men of that country, they didn't stand a chance against U.S. firepower. You know, we had tanks. You know, we had Kyles. We had Blackhawks. We had unmanned drones. Anything you can think of, we just outpowered them. But those men still fought. You know, they would get out there in some church shoes and some jeans with some rusty AKs or some handguns with limited ammunition and still fight to the death. And that's when I realized these guys are men first. And these men, they have a principle, they have a code that they'll die before they let somebody occupy that territory. And that's the main reason why those guys get so much respect from their women. You know what I'm saying? It's not just because they run in a reckless and ruthless type of patriarchy. It's because the women get to see them fight, even when the odds are stacked against them. You know, that's a man right there. You can't take that from him. You dig? Classic men. 
You know, we need to bring back that essence, man. We need to bring back that vibe. Too many niggas is out here chasing behind women. Too many niggas is out here trying to be women. Jealous of women. Too many niggas out here on that down low shit. Yeah, it's time to speak on this type of stuff, man. Tranny chasing. You dig? Too many niggas is out here living very reckless, man. Not being true and honoring themselves. Real talk. A lot of dudes don't even know how to defend themselves. You know? Even if they had to. Matter of fact, a lot of niggas, man, they lose that cell phone for five minutes. They ready to lose that damn mind. Like, how many men can live off the grid? Not a lot. So for me, man, it's about bringing back that essence, man, of of pride, masculinity, you know, uh, accountability, responsibility, influence. Going back to being leaders, man, first. Where that shit was cool. It was the thing to do, man. That was the fashion trend, being a damn leader, being a man overall, embodying that shit, man. You know, at least that's just how I feel about it. So will the classic man come back to his prominence? Only time will tell, man. Shout out to the Dime Game Division. Peace.